Okay, so we're going to make another video about programming. Uh, this one is in a Ford Mustang. Cars right there, we're replacing the computer because the uh, customer requested uh, to reprogram a replacement. We're putting a used computer on this vehicle, Ford uh, 2005, 2006 Ford Mustang. Uh, those are um, doable still on used uh, modules. You can, if you need to replace it and you have a used one, a used one, you can um, you can replace it. Uh, this is the uh, programming steps that you got to follow if you're using um, IDS. So let's move this thing out of the way. Mm, right there. So we're going to do a PMI, Programmable Module Installation. We're going to look we got to go to PCM. We have ignition, our ignition on. And we're just going to follow the instructions. Okay. We're going to start a new session because somehow we started with the, with the, with the wrong session. Um, you know what? The easiest thing to do is going to be to close this up. We're going to run it again. We're going to use our VCM uh, 2. And no, this is probably why. Delete and delete the session. So just in case you come across that, you know how to deal with it. So we're going to start a new, se a new session with um, with the vehicle that we have connected right now. And it's a Mustang 4.6. Yes, 5281. That right there. Can you get this one right here? Or my cell phone? Can you see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the actual bin of the vehicle. So when you start this, if you click OK, it's going to move forward. Don't try to change the bin there because it's going to say the it's going to give you the same message that it was at the beginning. You will have a chance to uh, pick the bin when you're doing <coughs> the, the programming. So we're going to do PCM ignition on. So I'll tell you when, when you have to enter your VIN. And if you get anything out of this video, it'll be that, that, um, that you don't uh, start that session with the current VIN on, on, on the vehicle. You don't enter that VIN. You wait until uh, the programming <laughs> procedure and it'll, it's going to ask you. Most uh, Ford vehicles have the VIN on more than one uh, module, so it's going to pull VINs from the ABS, if I'm not mistaken, uh, from the ABS and from the PCM. So when it's, when it's programming, it's going to compare both of them, and uh, it's going to ask you which one is the right one. So uh, just in case you didn't have, uh, just in case none of them was the right one, the correct one, you'll be able to enter that VIN. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to... Um, just pick the one that it that belongs to the vehicle. We might need to uh, fast forward this part of the video because it always takes a little bit and a and little bit of time. And um, this is fast, we're just going to fast forward this. Okay, it seems to be that it's done with whatever it was doing, downloading data. So we're going to turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition off. And just stay right there. Okay. Stay with the vehicle. Ignition off. Okay, so during uh, module programming, it's going to go through the, um, through the VIN verification. 
and this is what, you, what it's going to ask us. So we're going to hit no, and we're going to enter the VIN. That's Unzi EFT. Okay, that's that's the correct bin. And now we're gonna hit yes. So we're gonna start uh, the, the the new module on this on this vehicle is already installed. So we're just gonna click that we have it installed. Or just in case you didn't see it on the past uh, screen, I clicked uh, this same uh, button. You can press the Enter tab on your keyboard, and it'll, it'll move forward. Can you turn the ignition on? Ignition on. Okay. Ignition off. Off. Ignition on. On. And just in case I'm not able to filter out the engine that just started it's not um it's not this vehicle it's another car that we have uh here in the shop they're working on it okay these uh mustang the one we, we're working on it's still um programming just another thing that we did on this car before uh, uh that we don't usually do on any other vehicle this time um we did the keys before doing the uh, uh, the programmable module installation, and that's something you can do on most of them. Some of them, it's it's not uh, doable, but this one you can. So what we did, instead of um, instead of doing the uh, installation first and then the keys, we actually did the keys. the uh, The engine was uh, able to start with. Um, with the keys before we attempted to do the uh, the uh, calibration, uh, the, the reflush, I mean. Can you turn the ignition off? Off. Okay. So this time, if we're um, successful successful on the programming, um, when, it, uh, when the software comes up with the requested uh, turn, the, turn the engine on, I mean, we'll be able to do it. So ignition on. On. Okay. This module, okay, so this information is going to be most likely about uh, tire size and ratios. Sometimes that's what it is. Axle ratio. Okay, for, um, for the actual ratio, we're going to enter uh, 3.31 and for our tires, these are P P two thirty five fifty five seventeens P two thirty five fifty five seventeens. So this is the tire size that we have on this vehicle, according to the um, to the door tack. So ignition off. Off. Ignition off. Okay. Ignition on. On. Ignition off. Off. Ignition on. On. And we use weight. Um, so far as we're going to do the rest. So when you're programming using uh, IDS and VCM2, um, just follow instructions until it says that it's complete. Thank you. 
Ignition off. Off. Ignition on. On. Off. Off. Calibration has been loaded and checked. That's our new um, part number. Uh, crank the engine. Okay, ignition off. Ignition on. On. So right now it's clearing the fault codes that are uh, set during uh, programming. Um, usually when you program a vehicle, uh, you get a lot of uh, U codes, which uh, all of them are network uh, communication codes. And those uh, set because um, during the programming, I imagine I cannot uh, uh, confirm that that's what happens. During the programming, the module, it's uh, communicating with the interface that is programming. I mean, the module that we are programming. So it's not able to talk to the other modules. And since the other modules are awake because the ignition is on, uh, they're looking for that module, they cannot find it. I think that's what happened. I cannot confirm uh, that that's, that's the case, but I think that's what happened. But it's irrelevant. All you got to do, to make sure that you don't have any communication codes before and if you if you get them after you program just go ahead and uh, erase those codes if they remain uh, you might have an issue if they uh, if they go away those uh, said because uh, of the programming session uh, ignition off off okay and let's uh, go very quick to a self test here. See if we have any pending codes. Crank it up. I hope it doesn't go before that. Okay. So ignition on, engine running, and when we're gonna read, uh, we're gonna read codes. So these systems are okay. Less than two transmitters programmed. That's uh, for the key fobs, I imagine. That PCM uh, P1000 uh, means that um, the monitors have been cleared. They have not uh, run already. Uh, so usually you get this P1000 on Ford vehicles after uh, you clear codes. So this uh, should go away once uh, all the monitors get uh, uh, loaded on for, uh, for this PCM. So that concludes the uh, programming session on this vehicle. I know we've done some other Ford and most of them are the same, but sometimes you get those specific things that are specific for the vehicle. So I hope you like the, vi the uh, video. We um, This is the kind of work that we do at the shop and this is the kind of uh, work that we're gonna be posting on the videos. Uh, programming, electrical troubleshooting, and ADIS calibrations. Subscribe to the channel, like it, share it if you can, and we'll see you on the next one. Th thanks.